Yo, what's going on guys? It's your friendly neighborhood Calvin here. And today I got a bit of a story for you guys. Is that okay? Yes? Yes. Alright, so get this shit, guys. So about two months ago, this whole fucking story happened, and I was so psyched to make a video about this. Well, to be honest, I wish I would have recorded the whole thing. But I wanted to make a huge video about this, but the thing is, is right when it happened, about a week later, my fucking trip began, and I started traveling Europe. And then while I was traveling Europe, I had so many stories to tell about the time I got ripped off by a fucking street vendor in Paris, and I just really never got to making that video that I was so hyped about making. Well, until now, obviously. Obviously, but I hope you guys enjoy this story. It's pretty fucking intense. Leave a like if you do. And this is the CSGO Gambling story of a lifetime. So a while back, I'm just sitting there surfing with one of my friends when he says, Leafy, do you want to like bet all your skins on CSGO Arena? And my reply was, dude, what the fuck? No way, dude. There's no way I'm going to gamble all my skins. Are you serious? And that's it. I just said no, and that's the story. That's it. Just kidding, okay, so he comes up to me again, and he's like, are you sure you don't want to? And I was like, dude, no way, what the fuck? I'm not gonna gamble all my skins, there's crazy people on there, I'm gonna get sniped by, like, fucking Phantom Lord or something, they bet's like $2,000. He's like, okay, fair enough, Leafy, fair enough. And then he comes back one more time, and he's like, hey, Leafy, I know this is the third time I've hashed you, but today I have a limited time offer, I will give you all my skins. And if you win, we split the earnings, and I get my skins back. And that time, I didn't say no. I thought about it for a bit, and an urge took over me, okay? It was the gambling urge. Now, a lot of my fans don't know this about me, but I have a very addictive personality, okay? When I get hooked on something, motherfucker, I am really hooked on that thing, okay? And also, in the past, I used to get really into Bitcoin gambling, okay? It was about a year ago, and I used to gamble almost every single day, and eventually I stopped, but I gambled so much that it made me want to stay away from CSGO gambling, all right? But don't get me wrong, dude, I guess I opened a few cases, and I bet like $10 worth of skins on CSGO Lounge, but I never got in into it. But when that dude offered me that, that was like a fucking ticket for me. It felt like my ticket to the fucking Polar Express, and I wanted to go and see Santa Claus and shit, put our inventories together, and you got over a thousand dollars, and man, it fucking hit me. And I was just sitting there like, fuck it, dude, let's do this. So we sent over all of his skins, we went on Skin Arena, and we agreed that we were just gonna go all in on one pot. We weren't gonna sit there and try to fucking snipe people, we, we just threw it all in on one pot, which I guess technically is sniping someone, but it was like a $400 pot, and we dropped $800. It might have been a little bit less on that pot, and a few people bet in, and I think we ended up having a 60% chance at like a $1,200 pot, okay? And we were sitting there, we were nervous as fuck, and dude, we fucking won. To be honest, it was so fucking crazy, dude. I was like sitting there, I was like shaking, and when I won, I just started yelling. And thinking back, I should have recorded it, but it was one of those things that was just so in the moment that I never thought to myself, like, oh yeah, I should probably record this. Fuck, one second, let me open up Fraps. It was fucking insane, man. I was yelling, I was screaming, man. And I wanted to make a video about it as soon as it happened, but the thing was, was it was like four days or maybe like five days before me actually leaving to Europe. And by that time, I needed to get packed, I needed to make sure everything was correct with my flights and stuff like that. And obviously, I needed to prepare a ton of videos. And and here it is, fucking telling this story about a month later in Barcelona, man. You know, looking back, I couldn't even imagine if I lost. Like, you would honestly see one video of me with a fucking butterfly knife twirling it around, and then just a pirate knife. The video would probably include me being like, Guys, whatever you do, never fucking gamble, you'll end up like me. I mean, I lost fucking 40 euro in the street, and I was already pissed about that. I can't imagine losing my butterfly knife. But I hope you guys enjoyed this story today. And while we're on the same subject, I want to say that I'm thinking about making a gambling series where I just take my, like, I think $800 inventory, and I just go on these huge-ass CSGO jackpot websites, and I just see how much money I can end up with. Or, most likely, how much I end up losing. I mean, let's be honest, I'm probably going to lose an ass load. Probably end up with zero sitting on the street like... Please give me a dime so I can get a donut. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. Leave a like if you feel like being a good person. I mean, that's all it comes down to. And peace, peace. <laughs>